Excellent. Pressing on, we're going to look at the next type of sentence uh, in our growing list of sentences. So this sentence type is called compound complex. Now these sentences are useful when you want to include more clauses. So in this type of sentence, we'll actually have three clauses total. And as we can see from the um, name of this type of sentence, we get the idea that the compound part is going to come first, and then the complex part comes next. And so as we know with compound sentences, we've already learned that when we join ideas together with a compound structure, it's, it's a way of showing our readers that the two ideas are equal in importance. These first two ideas, not fist, just take my time there. First two ideas are equal in importance. The third idea will be secondary. So it's less important. And it's good for us to kind of learn these structures and think about this as writers because. The structure we choose helps us to organize kind of the hierarchy of the ideas, right? Which ones are equal, which ones are secondary. And we do that by using our coordinate conjunctions and subordinate conjunctions to uh, arrange those relationships between the ideas. So with this structure, there, there will be one coordinate conjunction, and we use cocon just the short form for that, and one subordinate conjunction. And the, the, it's in that order, the coordinate conjunction will come first because we have that compound piece first. So let's look at the formula, that's a good time for that. So it's going to be C1, then we've got our comma fanboys C2, and here's the part where we in, insert our coordinate conjunction. C3, and then a period. Now remember each of those C1, C2, and C3, those are each their own clauses, and each clause needs to have its own um, subject noun and main verb. That's what makes it a complete idea. So uh, this is, let's get some examples going here. Okay, Donald walked through the forest, but he couldn't since they were hiding. Perfect. So we can also kind of use a few little highlighter tricks here to just to organize things um, and or just to make them kind of jump out or stand out from, from the rest of the sentence. And you'll notice like if you wanted to do the identification piece, you could look at the first clause this is the first clause here, and you could say to yourself, what's the subject? What's the subject noun of the of clause one? If you said Donald, you're correct. What is the main verb of clause one? If you said walked, again, you're correct. Um, and then we've got through the forest. That's a prepositional phrase that's talking about location. And as we know, prepositional phrases usually come after the, the main verb. Um, in many cases, and they give a little bit more information about location, time, or degree of something happening. So then we go on to clause two, but he couldn't find his friends. Can we identify the subject noun? In this case, it's the preposition he. How about the main verb? If you said couldn't find, you were, you were correct, because actually uh, the, the, the main main verb here would be fine, but couldn't is an auxiliary verb but it's part of the predicate. And as we know, the predicate is the, is the action of the sentence. Um, but he couldn't find his friends. So in that case, his friends are actually what we call an object noun. So we've talked about these elements before, but it's good to review them. So then we've got the subordinate conjunction since, and that's telling us that the last idea is the least important idea, or it's the secondary idea in this, in this example. How do we know? That's exactly the job of a subordinate conjunction. It tells us, hey, the next idea is less important or secondary. Let's do another example.
So I'm just kind of making these all up on the fly. So you get to see a little bit of the creative aspect of, of writing as well. And that's something we really want to pr promote in this in this course is that you get a chance to creatively work with your own sentence generation. And so we can see again, there's three ideas here. The warriors attacked the fort. That's like, that's clause one, comma. So Philip motivated his defenders. Philip is maybe the leader of the, the fort trying to defend against these warriors. So Philip motivated his defenders. That's clause two. And actually we could put a period there. If we put a period there, we'd have a completed compound sentence, right? But we're trying to demonstrate compound complex. So we've added one more clause. While the villagers trembled in their homes. Again, we've got our subordinate conjunction. So that's telling us that according to the writer, this final idea is the secondary idea. We've got our main our subject noun, villagers, we've got the main verb, trembled, and then we've got a prepositional phrase, in their homes. Okay, so there you go. That's uh, the second uh, new structure. These were what we would call our level two sentences, but we're chopping them down into more bite-sized lectures to make it easier for you guys to practice them. So take your time and practice writing your own examples.